So hello everybody. Today on this very important day in recent history, I'm going to do a very important unboxing. The unboxing of terraforming Mars. Um, coming to Mars was a big step. Making it habitable will give us a new world. Um, the game is by Jacob, or probably Jakob Fruxelius and his brothers. Um, and it's been around, I don't know how long. Does this have a date on it? 2016. This one was printed in 2016, so this one is almost three years old at this stage. Um, I've never played the game before, but in keeping with this year, which is going to be my space-themed year, I decided to get one of the more mainstream games that deal with space and are soloable. And let's take a look at the... Oh, there's also another quote. Terraforming Mars is a terrific... Okay. So, um, I have heard very many bad things about the components. So, uh, we shall see how bad they really are. Um, first, you have a bag with lots of baggies inside that contain the, um, uh, the player tokens and the tokens that um, act as money. It's a card-driven game. It is a game where you draft cards or draw cards, depending on how you play, apparently. There are different play types or styles. Um, it's an engine building game. Here are the infamous player mats that everyone dislikes. And I can tell you exactly why. And first of all, they're very thin. These are all of the player mats that come with the game. I think it's four in total. One, No, it's five. And look how bendy this is. Yeah. And the problem with them isn't so much the thinness or the bendiness, but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put your cubes here to track um, your progress or points, whatever you want to track or whatever you track here. But of course, when you put down a cube and somebody even just lightly touches this, the cube will move. So different people have tried to deal with this um, problem di in different ways. I, for one, have decided to buy a player um, organizer from eRaptor. Then we have the board, which we're going to look at in a second. And, um, well, first of all, this is something that you don't see every day, the fact that they've actually um, put something at the bottom of the box. Usually it's, you know, just cardboard. Um, these are the, um, the tiles that you use to cover Mars as you progress with the game and Terraform more. Um, they look good. Nice thickness. Yeah, well, a little bit on the thin side, but you know. Um, the die cut seems fine. Yeah. Um, the printing is not off. That's good. Yeah, that looks good as well. Um, the rule book. New game smell. Colourful, nice. I've read them online. Um, I think that they are really well written as far as I can tell. Um, player aids go back. Player boards, I should say. Um, let's take a look at the board. It's one-sided. And first problem already, it doesn't lie flat. And there's a nasty crease here. Yeah, I understand what people said when they said that the components were not good. Yeah, this is not a good player board. Uh, this is not a good game board. Yeah, you can see it's already um, broken off the color here. So the colors chipped at the crease, at the bend, yeah. But okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's serviceable. And of course you don't buy these games because of the looks. That's why you buy Descent. You buy those games in order to play the um, mechanics. And of course it's, it's a Euro game, it's an engine builder. Um, so let's take a look at the cards and see what quality they are. Of course I will be sleeving them regardless of their thickness or quality, but um, it's always nice comment on that and first of all I like the design I like the 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 image 
nice thickness. Um, they feel, they feel, they're a lot less thick than the GMT ones, but they're serviceable. They're, they're nice thickness. They're, they're okay. Um, the pictures are photographs and drawings. Um, yeah. Um, the writing is good to read, although I'm not even wearing my reading glasses, so that's um, that's a good sign. Um, at first sight, without knowing what the symbols are for, they seem to be clear. Um, I like the structure. Yeah. Um, I like the art direction on this one. So it comes with... A large number of cards. So these are cards that you use for playing and there should also be cards in there that represent the corporations. Here we are. So that's them. Um, so we've got several of those. Ah, and then you also have um, information on how to play the game. And you have this one, two, three, four, f you have this twice, which is nice. Um, and then you've got one spare card, which is actually, I haven't seen this ever before, but that's very helpful. So, of course, they will be sleeved. Um, and that's unboxing terraforming Mars. I'm just going to take a brief peek at these bits here. People say that they're terrible. Let's see how terrible they really are. Well, they're light. I mean, yeah, they're cubes made of plastic, so they would be light, but I don't know. I've seen worse. These ones actually look exactly like the ones that I have in the, 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 the dark black ones look exactly like the ones that I have for um, pandemic. Okay, pandemic retails at a lot at a lot less um, than terraforming Mars. Yeah, I mean again you don't pay of course you don't pay for the components, you pay for the IP. I'm a bit annoyed by the fact that the that the board is already really creased um, and, and has this um, chipped look. But I guess that can't be helped. So this is Terraforming Mars and a quick Chits and Cats unboxing. I'm really looking forward to playing this. It will be a, t a while until I get to this because I'm, like I said, I'm gonna wait for my um, uh, player organizer because um, I do want to avoid um, uh, knocking over my my um, my counters and if, if I don't get this in time I don't know then I'll probably find a different way of counting and keeping track of things so um, that's all from me I wish you a happy rest of the day and I'll talk to you soon bye bye